So tuning a 12 lug snare drum is kind of kind of quite difficult because you've got so many screws to go around and doing the opposites is uh, you can get lost doing that process. Uh, so what I tend to do initially is put just six in first. Uh, do these opposites, so one, two, three, four, five, six, and you can do that because it's an even number and it's symmetrical down the middle. Uh, so start with six, and because it's so rigid between the points, um, you'll find that tension is put down, it is exerted. So a 12 lugger, you've actually got two snare drums in one, so you can either run it as a six or you can run it as a 12, it's entirely up to you. The whole point of the 12 is that it picks up the tension more often than an eight or, or a 10 and makes the, the playing surface much harder, uh, more crispy, more reboundy, uh, and gives you a lot of tension. So let's just run the six down. So there's uh, nothing at the moment. What I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna run the screws down until I see the, uh, the counter hoop move. So I'm running the hoop down, screws down, so I see it move, and then I back off. And what this does is just put the screws in the same position each time. So run the screw down, see the hoop move, and then back off. Once that's done, we can just simply uh, tension these as per normal. There's the hoop moving. You can sometimes hear it just creak slightly, the, the skin. There we go. Right. Swap to another key. This is a regular Sona signature key of the period. So again, what we'll do is we'll just put a, a full turn on it and you'll hear it creak. Put that full, full turn and you'll hear the, the head come into, into shape. And there we have it. So we've essentially got uh, a six lug snare drum with the head under tension. snares on. And for some that might be the sound. Now if we want to uh, increase the tension there, remember the hoop's so stiff that effectively the head can take it. There's no problem. There's tension being put down in between these so there's no problem. Once we've done that, we've got these set up. So all we need to do is run these screws down to where the others are, pick up a little bit of tension, and then we've got our 12 lugger, and then we've got the sensitivity that we wanted when we got the 12. So let's just pop those in. Pop those in. Speed key these down. And again, when they hit the hoop, just bite in. And that will then take that pressure off these other two. So there we go. And that's the thing about die cast is that if you have one that's higher than the others, then the others slack off. So it's quite important just to bite it so it doesn't release the tension off those two. Sometimes you are chasing your, your way around, but you get them all touching and all with some tension on. That'll do the trick. So there we are, we now have our 12 lug snare drum. Let's have a quick, quick feel across those, check that there's tension on all of them. It's actually not loose or anything. And voila! This is a very interesting head. This is actually a uh, pinstripe with a, with a dot and a power stroke on a crimp lock. So it's designed for the marching market and it's incredibly bassy. And I thought what I'd do is I'd just stick it on, show my good friend, Roger Johnson. And these heads are designed to take extreme tension.
quite bad, tight and bassy. Bit of dampening. And that is how you tune a 12 lug snare drum.